Are the rumors of a Shang-Chi sequel and other Marvel movies heading into production true? I'll believe it when I see it, muchacho. You know what old Jack Burton always says at a time like this? It's the best geek news. Hello, hello, got a super packed show for you today, so let's get to it. According to Geeks Worldwide, a sequel to Shang-Chi is expected to enter into production in 2023. Duh. Yeah, that's kind of a no-brainer that Shang-Chi will be getting a sequel, and 2023 seems like a reasonable time frame to kickstart it off. What's more interesting about the report, in my opinion, is the other projects Marvel will supposedly be gearing up for production, including a Thunderbolts movie that damn well better be led by Baron Zemo and include Red Hulk in it. In fact, if we don't at least get a scene of Zemo teaching Red Hulk how to dance, I don't think I'll ever watch another Marvel movie ever again. You're bluffing. And a Nova movie, which if this is true, feels like a possible post credit scene for Guardians Volume 3, though I'm very much projecting. This is in addition to the World War Hulk movie rumors we've been hearing so much about lately. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If these rumors are true, they will very likely be announced on Disney Plus Day, which is just around the corner, so we don't have to speculate for long. Thank you, Jesus. In an interview with the German newspaper Frankfurter Algemeine, Al Algemeine, I don't know how to say that, Bill Murray admitted that he's recently made a Marvel movie with the director of Bring It On. Bill Murray! As you've likely already deduced, the director of Bring It On was Peyton Reed, who is now directing Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. But the real question is, who might Bill Murray be playing? I have a guess. Bill Murray! Today we got a crap pile of trailers, so let's run through them. Up to bat first is the trailer for Lightyear, giving us our first look at the guy who inspired the action figure, and it looks awesome. Even though Buzz with hair might secretly be Mr. Incredible. Oh, he had a great look. Everything about this suggests it's gonna be high quality, even though, you know, Chris Evans only says one word in the trailer. And? It's still a little jarring for me that Tim Allen's voice isn't coming out of Buzz Lightyear's mouth. Bitácora espacial. Chris Evans even shared the trailer today on social media and said, quote, nothing had made me feel more joy and gratitude than knowing I'm a part of this. Really, Chris? Nothing? There's nothing that makes you feel more joy and gratitude? I understood that reference. We also got the first trailer for Tiger King 2, which is something I'd hope to never see, but it's here, so I'm probably gonna be forced to watch it all the same. Netflix also dropped a trailer for True Story, starring Kevin Hart and Wesley Snipes, and it actually looks pretty interesting, and surprisingly, not really funny at all, like all Kevin Hart movies. Damn! We also got another trailer for Cowboy Bebop, and I'm excited to check this out. I know anime fans are mixed, but being someone who never saw the original, I think this looks fun. Finally, the creme de la creme, the first trailer for the second half of Masters of the Universe Revelations. Lots of He-Man fans out there have already wrote this one off. I, however, am excited to see how many more times Kevin Smith can kill He-Man. Damn! You don't want to listen to the old Pork Chop Express and take his advice on a dark and stormy night and follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you like the video for support. It's all in the reflexes. And then subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our other videos.